What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here and today guys I'm going to give a full tutorial on how to get Siri on the iPod Touch 4G or the iPhone 4. Now this is quite simple as you've seen my video earlier uh, this month on Siri being on my iPod Touch 4G but not successfully connecting to Apple servers well it still doesn't but I have found a uh, few workarounds to actually get it to talk you can actually talk to it, but uh, it still doesn't connect to the server. So, still working on that, but uh, not everyone has it down yet. But I figured I'd give a tutorial on how you can actually get it on your iPod Touch. So, it's quite simple, actually. Um, what you're just going to need is a jailbroken iPod Touch 4G or a jailbroken iPhone 4. So, uh, right here we've got a jailbroken iPod Touch 4G. Now, here we do have the City of Port running and as you can see it doesn't lag and it doesn't stop like it won't stop and say sorry I can't connect to the network it'll actually wait for me to finish talking so but it does not connect to the servers yet um so I'm gonna demonstrate how you can actually get it to actually listen to you um and how you can download it so the first thing you're going to need is a tether jailbreak on your iPod touch 4G or iPhone 4 uh, the current jailbreak is tethered if you've seen my jailbreak video on what's been going on in the iOS 5 jailbreak community right now. You do need to tether the jailbreak and more on that in that video. Um, and you are going to need to have your computer to be rebooting a few times when you download all this stuff. So, uh, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to go into Cydia. Wait for that to load up. Okay. And then you're going to go to search. Not search, I'm sorry. Just wait for it to load. Okay, you're going to go to manage, sources, edit, add. Wait for it to load. Okay, you're going to go to add, and you're going to add the source, which is right here, zchristopolis.com. So, cydia.zchristopolis.com. Alright, and once you have that done downloading, you're going to go inside of the source, focus in again, and you're going to download Siri. N1GHT, Siri Knight. Okay? And then once you have that downloaded, you're going to have to reboot, but um, make sure that you actually have your computer because it is a tethered jailbreak and you're going to need to reboot with whatever program you did your tethered jailbreak with. Once you have that working, you should be able to hold down the home button and have Siri there, but it'll keep lagging and turning off and saying, I can't connect to the network. Now, if you want to get rid of that, but again, this isn't the full working port. This is just mainly the GUI and being able to talk to Siri, although it doesn't respond to you. You're going to download iFile. If you don't already have that, then uh, go ahead and download it right now. Uh, it's in the Big Boss system. And then you're going to go to iFile. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, go, you're going to hit Home. Okay, and you're going to go to VAR mobile I'll do it again Here. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna start from var mobile library it's, oh no I'm sorry you're gonna go down to preferences and you're going to look for dot com you're going to look for com.apple.assistant right there, dot plist. Right there. Um, Alright, so we'll go ahead and do text viewer. And you're going to hit edit. And right here, well, right here where it says HTTP, it should normally say, here you see where it says Gunzoni, whatever on the bottom of the screen right here uh... it should say https colon you're going to edit it and you're going to delete the s there and then you're going to hit save and then done 
and then you can spring if you want to, but again, you're going to need to reboot. And then when you hold down the home button, you'll get you'll be able to talk to Siri, but again, it won't respond to you. So I'll go ahead and show you that it doesn't. Sorry, I am having trouble connecting to the network. So there you go. Although it doesn't connect, it's almost a full working port. Just keep waiting. And also it adds the um, iPhone 4S text-to-speech feature right there. Obviously, again, not working. If I had done it, it'll just keep loading. Yeah, it doesn't even put input in, so... But that is added, and also you get the Siri talking feature, so definitely, guys, if you can, do this. If you like this video, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, again, this is a full-blown iPod Touch 4G. Uh, leave your comments below. Of course, rate and subscribe. Aside from subscribing, be sure to follow on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.